What is going on guys? Welcome back to another fantasy football video. I got Cole here as always and let's dive right into this one. We got a week full of matchups this week. No Thursday night video, uh, no contest this week. We only got all Sunday games besides the two uh, teams that play on Monday night. Um, we kind of looked at the quarterback rankings before we started here. Um, you know, I like Josh Allen, you know, I do like Tom Brady as well, but we're looking at like a thousand more than Dak even on here. Um, and me and Cole were kind of talking about this game. Uh, what are we expecting from this Cardinal and uh, Dallas matchup uh, Sunday afternoon? Uh, honestly, I'm thinking it's going to be it's either a complete defensive game because both defenses are pretty pretty dang good, or it's going to be a really high scoring game. I think the overall that the Cowboys are going to probably take the lead on this one because Arizona still doesn't have D hop for the rest of the season. And it looks like he's like Kyler Murray has been struggling with throwing it to AJ green, but Christian Kirk is now the number one wide receiver there. I, I just don't, I don't think like the chemistry there for the Cardinals right now. So I think, it, I think it will be more of a lead for the Cowboys overall just in general because i mean they destroyed whoever they played on monday washington yeah yeah no they definitely did um you know and i think it's going to put dak in the perfect position a they're going to want to kind of you know keep that hot streak rolling as well as this is a big matchup for them to get themselves locked into a playoff position hopefully so uh you know they want to bring this one home uh dak at home is going to have to throw the ball against this arizona defense and that is what i am putting our lineup on this week here um, and kind of, I was looking at, you know, Tom Brady again against the Jets. And uh, unfortunately, we do know Fournette ha is injured uh, with a hamstring injury. And so Ronald Jones, I was looking at him earlier. I think we just got to snag him now. And then maybe we got to um, kind of boost our salary here with some higher pick guys. But uh, I do love Ronald Jones. I mean, let's just double check what he did the past couple of weeks. I can't remember if it was last week. Yeah, last week he had 15 points. Uh, he had eight the week before that. We know that Fournette's just been, you know, that one, two yards from the touchdown, you know, goal line back at that point. Uh, with him with him out of the picture, I think this lights up a ton of opportunity, especially against the Jets as well, uh, for Ronald Jones to shine this week. Um, I do think that'll be a safe kind of bet there. Um, Cole, do you want to grab a top salary running back or wide receiver here uh, for this week? Uh, honestly, I kind of want to grab a top salary wide receiver this week. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. What are we thinking? We have Godwin out as well as uh, Mike Evans for Tampa Bay, putting Antonio Brown on the board. Looks like he like he's having a couple issues there, but again, playing against the Jets. What are we, what are we thinking with these top couple people on the board here? Well, I think Cooper Cup's due for another touchdown. He didn't get one last week. So, yeah. plus it's against the Baltimore defense that's proven to be pretty crappy lately. So, I mean, I love Cooper Cup, but he's a whole 1,200 more than Debo. Right. But Debo is – he's literally everything for Sam Fran. He's the running back at points. He's wide receiver. He's at some – hell, I'm throwing the ball. I think I'd rather take Debo. Yeah, I'm going to agree with you on this one. That $1,000 salary cut, I was looking at that exactly at the same time you said it, actually. Um, and I actually had him in a different bet last week. He didn't even have a receiving touchdown and still got over 20 points PPR. So, uh, And even, yeah, 17 the week before that. So, you know, he's just a solid you know, player overall. His floor is amazing and his ceiling is you know, through the roof at that point, especially against the Houston uh, secondary has been struggling all season long. I think this is going to set him up real nicely for this uh, fi almost final week in fantasy football here. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the defenses here. You guys know that we like to get this uh, salary cut out of the way, make our average go up here in the top right as well. Um, you know, I, I, I do really like Tampa Bay defense against the Jets here. Um, anything else jump out at you, Cole? Maybe something a little cheaper. Um, don't mind San Fran against Houston or Buffalo, even against Atlanta. 
Yeah, I don't even mind the Eagles' defense against Washington, honestly. Right. Washington is yeah, just – Yeah, Eagles put up some numbers last nasty. week. Here's the Cowboys again. I don't think we should take – I mean, I have the Cowboys' defense in fantasy football, but I have no other options that are better against. So that's why I'm still playing them. But – yeah, I think, um, you know, honestly, just due to the salary here, I, I could go either way with this one. I think Tampa Bay, solid bet here, especially against the Jets again. But uh, just, I mean, the Bills are a solid defense. They're playing against Atlanta. They don't score, score a ton of points. Uh, you know, they're playing at home as well. Same with San Fran. So it's really a 50-50 here. I think, you know, if we got $100 left or something, I'll kind of, you know, grab 49ers at the end of this. But for right now, let's grab the Bills. I like that salary in there. I do like the potential as well for this week. I do um, agree with that. Yeah. Um, so now boosts are total up a little bit here. Um, I, I want to just get this tight end out of the way because I know there aren't a ton of options when it comes to tight end. Um, I, I don't mind Mark Andrews. They're playing us the Rams. Kind of, I'm, I'm, ga- I'm good with that one. I like um, Gronk. Yeah, I, like I do Gronk like Gronk as well. Um, that's honestly what I was going to say, or Pitts even on the bottom here. But they do play against Buffalo, so that's kind of going against what we did previously. It'd be better to take Dawson Knox over Pitts, honestly. Right, yeah, against that Atlanta secondary. Um, but I, I definitely agree with you here. Um, I think I, th- I think Gronk is probably due for one. I'd put an over on him to get a, a touchdown this week. Um, again, we just talked about the wide receiver options that are out for this matchup here. Uh, Tom Brady's got to throw the ball to someone, so it's either going to a Brown or. <laughs> Our Gronk. So let's go ahead and tag him in here um, to kind of fill in that spot there. Um, let's let's go ahead and take a look at some more wide receivers here. Um, I think there's a little bit more depth maybe this week due to injuries with the running backs. We'll kind of take a look and yeah. see who's remaining there. Um, I don't mind Jay Brown against Miami. He did amazing last week. I believe he caught one in the end zone. Uh, had over 100 yards, I know for sure. They just let him go off last week. They didn't even try to do anything. Yeah, no, they didn't contain him at all. Yeah, no, they really didn't contain him at all. Um, we see Waddle down here as well going against Tennessee, who I guess is good against the pass. Um, but, I mean, week after week, even I believe he just played on Monday night, uh, he still scored, I believe it was almost 20 points, if not over that again. Um, we're looking he also at- got like 13 targets. <laughs> Yeah. Um, let's Honestly, looking. for I kind of, kind of like I'm on around St. Brown. Even though it's the Lions, they he's their best option at everything, and he's been putting up points every single week. Yeah, and he went off again last week. Um, I just think the salary is crazy. Yeah, he put up 20 points against Atlanta last week. I believe um, Jared Goff is back for sure this week as well. Yeah. Um, God, what does it say about him? Because I don't like that Seattle number, honestly. Um, I do kind of like Amari Cooper, but against, uh, you know, CeeDee Lamb, it's kind of 50-50. Hard to imagine. Surging slide receiver. All right. Well, I suppose let's go ahead and snag him in. Again, he did prove, he did prove himself last week. I am just kind of worried about that salary there. Um, I'm thinking, you know, yeah, if we have to, we can definitely go down. down. I mean, it's not like Las Vegas has a good defense in general either. We could do Pittman if we had to. Right, right. Yeah, and we could always come back to that one as well. Um, let's go ahead and take a peek at running backs. Looks like our average is around 6,000, so I'm going to go just a tiny bit above that here. Um, I, I know you like Jeff Wilson, but I know we got Debo as well in here, so let's kind of stay away from him if we can. Yeah, no, I don't really want to get Wilson anyway, unless uh, Mitchell gets, like, cleared to not play. But Yep, yeah, sure. Mitchell has a chance of coming back well. Yeah. Um, gosh, I'm just kind of looking down here. I know the couple starters then here is Foreman, as well as that G- Gaskin-Johnson split where we talked about that in our last Thursday video. Um, and we also got the guy that you picked up, Cole, recently, which maybe we want to save to the flex unless we want to snag him now. Uh, what do, what do we save think? that for flex, honestly. Yeah, if we need to. Um, save dare for later if need be. Um, then I'm kind of just looking back up at Patterson or Jeff Wilson again. 
Um, otherwise, we could take a look and take a chance on Williams or Gordon. Looks like they're both kind of dealing with some issues currently here this week. Patterson, Patterson would be a better option, in my opinion, because, once again, they use him for everything. He's like a Debo Samuel. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, they're play- they are playing against Buffalo, but especially in these big, tougher matchups against these high-scoring teams, uh, that is when they try to just feed him the ball and hope some magic happens in the hands of Cordero. So I don't mind that pick there. Let's go ahead and grab him at that running back spot. Uh, now we um, all we got remaining here is our wide receiver in our flex position, a little bit less than 6000 on average for each here. Um, let's just go ahead and look at the flex spot and then we can snag a, uh, you know, wide receiver three or something, maybe if we need to as well, I'm going to go just look, we're going to start at 6,100 here. Um, we got Russell Gage. Don't mind, but we already did grab Patterson. Uh, Mooney, comes back. Mooney against the Giants defense isn't a bad option either. Yeah, I think we're going to snag him. I love Mooney, honestly. Um, let's look at his last couple weeks. I mean, he's just kind of been. He's been lighting up even more than this, especially in PPR. I know. Um, here's a couple last weeks. few weeks, though. That's for sure. Yeah, all he needs is a touchdown, but he's gotten five receptions minimum in the past two weeks. We've been having some back and forth quarterback situations there. Um, I just want to keep looking through just in case something else barks. Van in. Jefferson. Van Jefferson's a possibility. I mean, at the same time, they have all those high end wide receivers in. Uh, Las Vegas. No, not Las Vegas. Los Angeles. But. Yeah. Yep. In LA. Um, yeah. He's just been kind of plateauing ever since OBJ has been a true factor. We did see OBJ score that touchdown last week against Minnesota. Yeah. Let's grab Mooney here. See who we got remaining for our final flex spot here. Um, in this week with so many injuries, all these games on Sunday, this card is just getting, uh, little difficult with the lineups here, but, uh, you know, I'm thinking, honestly, if we needed to, we would change the same Brown pick, but I think we do have some good final contenders here. Uh, honestly, Cole, yeah, go ahead. Goddard. I kind of like Goddard this week. I do. He didn't do that well last week, but he was also- Yeah, he did fall flat uh, last week here. Um, but, uh, they do play, as I say, they play Washington this week. They're not, you know, crazy offense overall here. Um, let me see here. Oh, why did I put him in the flex? All right, let's go ahead and do this. So he gets in that flex spot. Um, now, you know what? Hey, we do have some extra money to work with. We are at 6,000. I think Mooney was our only option now that I think about it. Yeah. Or Van Jeff. Let's go ahead and grab Mooney in there. Um, yeah, there we are for week 17. A lot of tough matchups. There are some easier ones, but you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket, of course, here, uh, especially in these final weeks of the NFL season. Uh, Cole, you want to kind of talk us through our final lineup for FanDuel today here? Sure. Well, we have Dak Prescott against Arizona in what we think will probably be a shootout. Ronald Jones against a terrible Jets defense, literally the worst against the run because Fournette is still injured. Cordero Patterson against the Buffalo Bills because they're going to feed him the ball, obviously. It's either him or Gage, and I think they're mainly going to go for Patterson. We have Debo Samuel, which everybody keeps calling the Swiss Army Knife, who does literally everything on that offense. Amon Ross St. Brown, who has recently, within like the last four weeks, established himself as a clear wide receiver one for Detroit. Darnell Mooney against Giants defense, the number one wide receiver there. Rob Gronkowski against the Jets again, because why not stack up against the Jets defense? Dallas Goddard. Again, the Washington football team because they have not been very good recently on defense, that's for sure. And then the Buffalo Bills are getting Atlanta, which could work against our Cordero Patterson idea, but still, Buffalo Bills are recently good against defense-wise, and Atlanta has never really been able to put up a whole lot of points. Yeah, and, you know, especially with Matt Ryan, you know, he's due for an interception every single week as well. Buffalo Bills, especially, again, with the salary, pretty safe play there as well. 
Uh, thanks everyone for joining us here. If you're not already, make sure to hit that subscribe button down in the middle here. Uh, make sure to check out our Instagram as well for fantasy updates as well as all sports news all year long. And uh, make sure you guys tune in for the next one. Good luck this week in fantasy playoffs and we'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Peace.